Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a practice edition of the Garn Report. Technical difficulties over at our back center, so recording this remote. Though earlier this afternoon, Robert Williams took part in practice, feeling good. Uh, much better mindset than going into the playoffs last year when he was injured and uh, anxious for game one of the playoffs where Joe Missoula is going to call on him more offensively after his biggest game of the season, I thought, against the Raptors on Friday where he hit a great leaning jumper looking for a shot in the lane uh, that got inspired from the sideline from Joe Missoula, who spoke after the game about Rob getting more aggressive. I followed up with him on that today uh, to see what happened in that game and in recent weeks is what he, Rob had to say about that play. Pass against Toronto last week. Um, Joe talked about your offense, kind of opening up your offense. What was that like over the last two weeks here, trying to find your spots offensively? Um, yeah, you know, it's, um, it sounds like we're going to need those little dump off points of me sealing and getting the dunks. So, um, I don't know if y'all heard it, but last game I caught the ball in the post. And Joe yelled from the bench, uh, scored an effing ball. But, um, you know, he just reassured me that we're going to need those things. You know, my teammates do too. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Surprising to hear this from Joe late in the season. Uh, of course, not many opportunities to get Rob involved, though we have discussed his decline in terms of usage and activity offensively this season. It looked like the focus for him would be screening, rolling, freeing up other players, and offensive rebounding, and that's what the Celtics would live with, uh, take the impact he can make, and maybe in the future you can dream of all these other things we've all discussed when it comes to him impacting the team on that end of the floor, the passing, uh, the shot that looks like it's there to some degree, and him looking for his own shot underneath when he gets those opportunities. Now the Celtics emphasizing it, and you didn't hear a ton of that during the season. I think players, coaches, and Rob himself all – felt comfortable with what he provided them to begin with and didn't want to try to do too much. I think we all understood that given the limitations he faced during the off season from an injury perspective. Now looks capable. You see that leaner. You see a great array of roles in that game. Identifying mismatches key. They want to find him in transition. It looks like for easy baskets against smaller defenders. If he can line them up and uh, that great ability to pass, his pass of the year came Friday when he threw an over-the-shoulder pass by OG and Obi to a cutting Sam Hauser. Uh, his assists are down this year. He doesn't find himself in playmaking positions as often, especially in the high post, as we've seen in the past from him. And I asked today, why, why so tentative on offense? Why not, despite these encouragements from others, play more aggressively, look for your own shot, and try to open up your own game. And he says it does come from a mindset of wanting to be unselfish, enjoying passing, and he is a great passer. You see the work and uh, enthusiasm he has in that sense. But Al Horford saying, we'll always say we trust him, and he's a mature player, so I don't think we always have to say a ton to him. Uh, but we do encourage this aggressiveness from him, and it does allow you to dream that he could – go from being the perfect complimentary player to one of the great star players in this league if he could open up those areas of the game. I don't think we're going to see a massive leap in involvement in the playoffs, but a step up to where he was before at least should increase his impact. They play great offensively. The numbers bear out that when he's out there, their offense increases in terms of points for possession, and other players say they enjoy the offense more when he's out there. So Robert Williams, being called on for more offense this postseason. How do you see that playing out? Uh, see how Rob reacted to that today and uh, what Al Horford had to say about how they're trying to set up their teammate for more offensive success heading into the playoffs. Uh, for now, our coverage of Celt uh, Hawks Heat, uh, the deciding game and who will face the Celtics game one, goes live tonight on CLNS Media Celtics All Access. And, of course, check out our other video today talking about Jalen Brown's all NBA candidacy, which I wrote about for SteelNSMedia.com. Bobby Manning, this has been the Garn Report Practice Edition. We'll see you back at practice on Thursday. <laughs>